The U.S. Supreme Court is expected to issue a ruling on the California Proposition 8 case on same-sex marriage. And if they do, more states could join the gay wedding circle. We would like to talk about this issue. We are now taking, is this a live picture, Dick? Okay. Uh, <laughs> he said no really loudly in my ear. Here to discuss uh, the, what's at state with the Supreme Court decision are married couple Gail Marquise and Audrey Schmartz. They are here to tell their story as it was told in the New York Times and their perspectives on these two rulings that we are waiting on. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, let's start. Okay, so there's, there's two decisions that we're, we're waiting on from the Supreme Court, whether or not they uphold the constitutionality of California's Proposition 8 uh, and then the Defense of Marriage Act. Uh, are one or the other more or less important to you? The DOMA is more important to us because it's about financial equality. If something happens to either of us, what happens to the finances and what happens to the uh, estate planning that you've done all these years and how do you disperse this in an equal way that heterosexuals have that we don't. And, it, and to add to that also, uh, it's also to be recognized, to be respected by our government, by our peers, by our neighbors, so they know that the government respects our union and they should as well. You know what, you're, as you're both African Americans in a country that has dealt, dealt with a long history of racism, of bias based on the color of our skin, and then now dealing with this issue of gay rights in the 21st century, I'm just wondering if this is, uh, first of all, is it the civil rights issue to me, of, to you, of this age, and is there a similarity, a parallel in your experiences in both regards? Well, I haven't had any uh, discrimination against me that I have felt in any way. I guess I grew up in New York City, uh, and I am an African-American, as you can well see. I don't label myself as a lesbian. I'm a woman who's in love with a woman, and she's my wife. And so people feel that, and they accept us. We're, we've... I see we're accepted all the time. Well, that's wonderful to hear, but you're probably the exception and not the rule. What's been your experience? Well, there is some discrimination out there, even if it's not overtly discrimination. It's just the looks, maybe the shying away of. Uh, but when Orgy and I enter a room, we sort of fill the room. The energy is there. So in a sense, she kind of brings out the best in me to let that energy go up. But uh, I'm sure other couples are not uh, in the media eye as much as Orgy and I are. And I'm sure there is discrimination out there. But uh, once people start to know us, once people start to know a gay, a lesbian couple, a gay, a lesbian person, they sort of... They can, they can kind of see that all the visions they have in their head may not quite be real. And can you, Gail, draw a parallel between what, have you, have you experienced racism in your life? Oh, yes, yes indeed. Yes. Okay, so since you've experienced both, both of the biases, can you draw a parallel? Are they similar? Are they the same? Well, it's, uh, it's similar, but, but also with being an African-American woman, that's something you cannot hide. Uh, you can tell right off the bat that we're African-American. But when you're gay or lesbian, yes, you can be closeted. And in, in doing something like that, you're not being yourself. You're not being true to yourself. So, uh, again, you're hiding it. It is a civil rights issue. It's a human rights issue. And I think more people are see, starting to see it that way. Uh, what do you see that is at stake? What, what is at stake for gay couples with both of these decisions? Well, Audrey will talk about the financial, because she's big on money. And <laughs> she cash. already mentioned it. That was the first thing <laughs> she came. I thought it was going to be love, but it was money. But I think also what's at stake is the way our, our governments recognize us, because it's going to trickle down. If you look at the history of the civil rights movement, uh, even for not just blacks and, and whites, but also Jews and also minorities, it had to be the federal government that came down with legislation, with laws, with fines, with imprisonment, or both. And that's when it starts to dissipate more and more. And that's when you start to see a change. If we don't see the federal government step up, it's just going to be carefree. And you know what, so much of the Supreme Court's decisions uh, were in connection to, with where the country was at that time in terms of granting exactly. civil rights. You know, the country had to be ready uh, to uh, allow women to mm -hmm. vote, had to be ready to allow black people to be considered a whole human being and mm -hmm. vote as well. And do you feel like we're at that point that we're ready for these decisions? I feel that we are ready. I feel the country is ready, the mood is there, and it might happen today or it might happen in the next 10 days and I really feel in my heart that the Supreme Court is going to be in favor of I, who we are what we want and stay in love and 
We're just like anyone else. We just happen to be same sex. Can, can you describe what the disappointment would, would be if, if they don't rule in your favor in either of these cases? Well, I'm used to disappointment, and it will happen soon, because the young people of this uh, age now, they're more for same sex than the older people. I know I can tell you that I am a Republican, I'm liberal, and I'm in love with Gail. You know, I'm, I'm really different from most people who are lesbian couples. If you do wanna... choose the road less traveled, I must <laughs> yes, say, <indeed>. Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not an easy road, and, and we hope the decision will go favorably for the entire country. But if it doesn't, we're still going tomorrow we're still going to be married. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're still going to be loved. Our family's going to love us. Our 5,000 hits on Facebook are going to still love us. Our 200 thousand hits on YouTube are yeah. gonna still love us. You know, I still hear politicians particularly, but also other advocates that advocate uh, uh, for the defense of marriage uh, mm -hmm. say, you know, well, what's wrong with a civil union? Why is that en not enough? It's oh. not equal. It's civil so union, it sounds, ooh. It sounds like it's something that's uh, antiseptic-wise. I like that, You know, we have a home in New Jersey, we have a home in New York State. We had to get married in New York State because they recognized us. New York City recognized us. To go, my tax accountant said, in New Jersey, why don't you get a civil union? Because then your taxes will be less. I'm not in love with Audrey for my taxes to be less. You're not in love with whomever for your taxes to be less. Exactly. So it, it, we just didn't warm up to that. We had to wait two years following my accountant's statement. And then I went ahead when, when the chance came and... 2000, and as a matter of fact, we got married on 11 11 11, so I can always remember my wedding date. And I was just going to ask me, tell, tell me very quickly, tell me your love story, how you came together. Well, and you got like a minute to do it, so. Keep okay. it short, go ahead, you go first. Well, we met at Landmark Education at a seminar, and she looked at me and she saw something that she liked, and I was looking kind of spivvy that day, and I had never been with a woman before, and she asked me out on a date, and I said, A date? That means you're going to take me out to dinner, pay for everything. And I said, oh, that's exciting. Usually I go out on a, a, a meeting with a, another friend. We have to chip in. So she said, this is a date. I'm gay. I'm lesbian. I said, fine. And I said, that'd be interesting. And That's a great story. Wow. I'll leave it right there. I sound, <laughs> I sound good. There's, there's wow. always another side to the story. Well, that's a, that's wow. a great side. So pretty much that's how it is. And we've been, we've been together ever since. Our families know each other. We've merged. They've been open. 14 years. 14 years. Well, thank you so much for coming thank on. You for thank you for us. having us. All right, take care. You too. And this is Arise America.